Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is an update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. I am late on this update. I was hoping to have more progress. I didn't, but that is okay. I do have one empty though, so I will be picking some new products. This is a roulette style project pan created by Emily. I will link her and all the info in the description box. Basically, there's a game board that she shuffles every month and then we randomly pick a card from a deck of cards that corresponds to something on the game board. It's a really fun project. I really do enjoy this one. Monthly updates, it is a year long project. If you wanna join in, you still can. And I have a lot of project pans on my channel. You can find all those videos in my project pan playlists. I have one for every year. So check that out if you're interested and let's get started. Okay, let me update you on the products that I will be keeping in the project. So. For um, this first one, the prompt was something the color of your shirt and I was wearing like a beige shirt when I was filming this video. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I've been using this almost every day. I love this product. I have had this for over a year. I have shade one fair. And as you can see, there are some air gaps here. I do kind of have to scrape at the sides a little bit, but there's a lot of product in here. I am wearing this today. I love it. It gives such a beautiful glow. If I do finish this, I would love to try one of the ones from Auric Beauty because people say that those are similar, but honestly, this product is amazing. I just don't want it to go bad because it's a cream product and I've had it for over a year. Um, okay, the next category, this was a graveyard item. So this was something that was in another project pan sometime last year. It is the Dose of Colors Gloss in Can You Not. And I have used this a decent amount, but I don't know. I've tried standing it up and it's just, there's no visible progress. So I want to keep working on this. It's a bit disheartening that I've used this gloss a decent amount and yeah, it's just, it looks the same, but it's fine. I want to keep using it. That is one of my older lip glosses in my collection. It's still working well, but yeah, I would want to use that up. All right, so that will stay in the project. Another one, this one I have made some progress on that you can actually see, which is a little bit more interesting. Okay, so this prompt was something a friend is panning and Steph Lyons is panning this powder. And so this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And this is the small size that costs, I think this was $18 at Sephora. I've had it for a while. So what I did was kind of like, hold it upright and tap it. And so you can see the first line is where I was at the intro and this is where I am now. Made some progress, I'm happy with that. I like this powder, I like it to set my face. And actually I have sometimes mixed it in for my under eyes with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and that's what I did today. On its own, it doesn't quite keep my concealer from creasing as good as the Mineral Veil does. However, when I mix them together, I like the color a bit more because the Mineral Veil has a bit of pink in it. So I don't know, I, I really like the way my under eyes look. So I've been doing this quite a bit, mixing this in with that on my under eyes. And yeah, it seems great. So I'm enjoying this. This is gonna stay in the project. Finally, another one with also visible progress. The prompt for this was your astrology sign and I am Aquarius and I went with the Smashbox Primer Water because Aquarius means water bearer. So it made sense. And so yes, I did mark this. That's where I was at the intro. This is where I am now. This is the only setting spray I have in my collection. So I use this every day because I like to prep my face for makeup with setting spray, and then also I use it to foil shimmery eyeshadows. So I use this every day. So yeah, I like this though. I have mentioned before, I don't know that it's worth the price because it's so similar to the one from e.l.f., but I like it. I'll use it and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Okay, this product I have decided to remove from the project because this is just embarrassing. I am embarrassed for myself. Okay, so the prompt was a hair care product and I picked this hair oil by Jizu, the honey infused hair oil. This is great. This is a great hair oil. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed with myself. It's been over a month. 
You can see the mark there. It's barely moved down. I've used this twice. So basically, I like this product. The realization I've had with myself and hair care products is I like ones that are just like in a spray bottle where I don't have to touch it. I know this sounds weird, but I have to put this on my hands and like rub it into my hair. And I just don't like that sensation. I don't know. It just kind of grosses me out, to be honest. And then there's always like hair that gets pulled out. I oh, oh It's gross. I don't like it. So... I've decided I shouldn't buy any of these like hairstyling products that are not in a spray bottle. Just a weird personal preference thing. That's how my mind works, which sucks because this is a really nice hair oil and it smells amazing. So I'm still going to try to use this. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I've just decided there is no point in keeping it in this project with the pathetically minimal progress I have made. So. Still, I'm gonna keep that in my collection. I'll use it here and there, but it's not gonna be in this project. Okay, I do have an empty though. So for the category, a balancing act product, I had the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I finished it. I really, this is my holy grail foundation. However, I have finally found other ones that I think are just as good or almost as good. Um, so I don't plan on repurchasing it right now. We'll see what happens in the future, but I have repurchased this like seven or eight times in the almost 10 years that I've been using this. Um, so yeah, it's it's all gone. <laughs> um, there were some progress marks here, but this was also in a project pan last year. And I, oh yeah, the one from the last update was like down here somewhere, but it wore off. So yes, this is all done. This is expensive too. This is $43. They have upped the price over the years. When I first bought this, I think it was only $38. So that's what happens over time, I guess. Prices go up. Anyway, I still think it's a great foundation. Oh, by the way, yeah, I had two N1 Desert Beige, but sometimes I also have purchased one W1 Bone and that one works for me. But for now, I actually don't feel the need to repurchase it, which is a good thing. So, all right, hair oil, no. Gonna take that out of the project, so let me get my cards so I can pick some new cards. All right, a little shuffling, a little bit more, okay. All right, so two cards, um, here we go. Ooh, okay. Jack, so Jack, okay, with black is random color generator. Oh, okay, so maybe I should go ahead and do that. Let's see, random color generator. I'm on my laptop, so I can go ahead and pull that up on the internet. And let's see, I have it pulled up. I'm gonna hit generate and beige gray. <laughs> Beige gray. Okay. <laughs> I know for makeup, that could be like anything. So we'll see, beige gray. Um, okay, let me pick another card and seven of hearts. And what is the seven of hearts? Oh, social media pics. Okay, so this I will have to insert on the screen what ends up getting picked because I'm filming on my phone so I cannot go on Instagram, but I will do that on Instagram. So yeah, social media pics. Um, and yeah, let me figure something out for beige gray and I will be back. I did decide two different products that I will put on Insta stories um, for people to pick which one I should finish. So for beige gray, I decided to just go with a usage goal. This is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in wheat, and it's it's a gray eyeshadow, so I thought this worked out very well. My goal is just gonna be to use this 10 times. I just tend to neglect these eyeshadows in pots, but I do like this one. I think it's a really nice formula. I've had this for a couple of years now, so yeah. My goal is just gonna be 10 uses for this one, but I will show you on the screen what ended up getting picked for the social media picks one. So yeah, I'm excited. I really like this project. I am a little 
disappointed in myself for the lack of progress on this hair oil, but you know what? I tried. The fact that I used this twice is probably two more times than I have used this in the last year because I think I bought this sometime at the beginning of last year. I don't remember exactly when, but I'm pretty sure I had only used it twice before putting it in this project. So that makes like four times ever that I've used this, which is just really sad. But now I've realized, I think that's kind of one of the good things about project panning is you learn your preferences. And I've realized I don't like hairstyling products that aren't in a spray bottle. That's just what works for me. So yeah, that is it for this Project Pan update. Check out my other Project Pan videos. I will link my playlist and all the info for this project will be in the description box along with the makeup that I'm wearing and my nail color and all of that. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.